is a just to bring the traditional way to fly a wee bit higher on the surface. We'll tie or use a, a muddler pattern. Now this works extremely well. This pattern especially is very good for when the spring olives and March browns are coming off. You should try two or three anyway, see how you got on. But to tie the river muddler, the hook I'm using is a Camasan, it's a B170 size 12. Thread is a uni thread AO in yellow. And we simply start with thread at the eye, put down a layer of thread, right along the shank until we reach the point of the hook, and then remove the waste piece. Now for the tail, I'm going to use a cock de Leon. Now the cock de Leon is a hen cape. Now it's from whiting. Uh, as you see, it's a, a lovely colour. And the small feathers at the bottom are really, really good for... I like to mix them with some cock hackles from my dry flies. And they work extremely well. Now I've pulled a few fibres off. I'm looking pull the tail length to be the length of the shank, just tie it over the back. Now when I tie it on, I tie it on the top, but that two turns there is onto a bare hook. That basically helps with the taper. When I start to come back up, tie that down, you'll, you'll find that you've got a nice taper at the back. And then we carry on up until we're round about 3-4mm from the eye. Remove the excess. Now you could use a plain body, the yellow is a very good colour. But I like to bring the thread back down, stop it round about, say, a couple of turns from the tail. I don't mind that nice wee bit of yellow showing through. And then what I'm going to use here, this is fox squirrel. It's called, it's by Wopsy. It's a natural fur. There's the, the name at the back. Fox squirrel. And it's very light hairs here. It's, it's a nice, nice colour. It's one of my favourite dubbins, or natural dubbins anyway. Just going to slightly blend it between my fingers, just roll it about, and then dub it onto the thread. Looking to try and form a nice teardrop shape. Slide it up. Take my time. And work our way up. Get a nice shape. There we go. Now to form the hackle and the deer, the, the muddler head, what I'm using here, this is the short fibres, or the short deer hair fibres from roe deer. It's a part of the leg, top of the leg, where they're quite short and quite dense as well. I mean, this type of patch I would use for doing some comparadons and so, but it's very good for this fly as well. Now you take off don't need a lot, enough to form a hackle. Using the fibre as the, as the hackle itself. Now you could use a hackle before it, but I found you don't really need it. Um, I've tried it with the hackle and I've tried it without and they both worked extremely well. So you get, look at the amount you've got, now stack it. Into stacker. Checking what I've got here. To get any broken ends or anything they might find us you don't want. Get the length. Now your length tips to at least halfway into the tail. And then now I can roll this round simple by just bring the thread tight up against it, holding the points, and then encouraging the fibres to roll all the way around, another turn and then tighten up. And then with another turn. And that there forms a nice collar. At this point here you can have a look and see how much you've got. If you feel you've got too much you can always go back. Now that's okay. And then draw these back. Bring your thread to the front. Take your time and do or three to lock in. Now we're ready to form the muddler head. And we're going to use the same deer, same deer here. This time we're going to use the opposite ends. What I'm going to do is come in off a few fibres and open out the fibres here making sure there's no broken ends or any 
tine under for. I want to remove them. And this time I need this the bottom ends to form the muddler head. Now the simplest way to do it is just to come in. Now we can see the length of the, the collar I formed with the deer hair points. You don't want to go any longer than them, you want it shorter so we can separate them. Just come in on the top, you go once, twice with the thread, and then allow the deer hair to spin all the way around and then work your thread to the eye. Now at this point especially, uh, now I've waxed the thread right back, now it feels like it's running out so make sure your thread is waxed, always keep the thread nice and tight, then come in and whip finish. Now to be honest with you, you don't really need to varnish because the, the grip is there with the wax, but if you do want, it's up to yourself, you can wax it if you, uh, Varnish it if you want. Now what you have to do now is come in and get a hold of these cut ends which form the collar. Just take your time. You don't want to touch the points of the deer here. Just want to bring these 90 degrees from the shank and then come in with a pair of scissors and form your muddler head. Just come in. The curved scissors are much easier, I find, to form the head. You can come round and choose the angle of the, of the eye to help. It's something you need to practice. I mean, I get it wrong as well. I mean, there's times I don't get the shape I like. But that's fly time for you. Just work your way around. Sometimes I prefer to take the fly from the vise and then cut it. But I'll do it on the vise so you can see what I'm doing. Just take your time. And work your way around. Now, it's amazing how these wee flies work. There's just put them on with a team of flies, or even individual, you can fish it itself, and just come into the, the rough water and then you can skate it, or you can just let it drift, and the fish will come up and take it. I mean, they really like it. It's like a, it'll represent the nymph, it'll represent a dry that's Basically, get stuck. It's just a good pattern. Now you can put whatever colour combination you want at the back, and then put the muddler head. You can use the dyed deer hair as well. And don't be shy with the head, because it, it makes. I mean, basically, that's going to make the mark and keep the fly up. Now, what I would do is then I would use your floating just to onto the the head area especially, and maybe on to some of the fibres, but I would stop at that. And uh, if you are going to fish it with a team of flies or another fly, obviously put this on the dropper. And there we are. This is a good spring olive and March brown pattern. Uh, certainly worked for me anyway, so let me know how you got on. I hope you enjoyed that. And that there is your river muddler.